In this video, I wanted to talk a little about how do you produce value-adding content because everyone says stop selling, start educating, offering value-adding content. And the natural question is, okay, how do I do that? What is value-adding content? How do I come up with that? And there are really three things you want to consider. One is how to come up with the good ideas of uh, content to produce. What is value-adding content? Then produce it and then promote it so you get the most out of it. For the source of good ideas, I found the best places to look at is when clients are calling you with questions, when you're on sales calls and you hear objections, those are great content for videos. You can uh, search Quora for some of the keywords that you think your clients might be searching for and see some great topics. You can also do some SEO keyword analysis using a tool like KW Finder. You enter your keywords and then you see what are the best blog posts that are getting most of the traffic and that can give some pretty cool ideas but also some content and you can say, you know, I have a different take on this so I can do a video or another blog. You can also look on LinkedIn groups. They have some pretty interesting questions sometimes, the most active ones. Some of them are just more about selling to each other and vendors trying to figure out ways how to create more leads through LinkedIn groups, but there are actually some pretty cool questions in some of them. Next, how do you produce the content? And here the approach I take is I sit down and write three to five bullet points here, for example, for this video, I wrote uh, how do you source your content ideas, how do you produce your content, and then how to promote it. That's three bullet points. I plan to talk about 30 to 60 seconds on each bullet point. If it goes a little longer, don't worry about it because in editing, you can do jump cuts and it actually looks pretty much fine. So even if you go longer, don't worry about it. It's better to go longer than to go really short and then you haven't covered all the things that you want to cover. So what you can do, what I found really useful, actually, we did a test and uh, we did an interview uh, where somebody was on the other side of the camera asking me questions, and that worked pretty well. Then uh, we did one where I was scripted, and that looked very robotic and not very engaging. So when I was watching the video, I was saying, you know, I would never engage with that content. It feels very stilted. So the in-between approach is to take actually a picture of someone and stick it under the camera so it looks like you're looking at somebody and you're explaining it to them, and then you can come off as more natural. That's actually what I'm doing right now. There are many tools out there to record your video. You can use uh, TechSmith Camtasia, you can use uh, ScreenFlow, you can use a lot of stuff. Maybe you have to pay for some of them because they give you editing capabilities. You can even use QuickTime, which is free. But actually, I found the best one is to use Zoom because everyone, pr pretty much everyone has Zoom and you can just open Zoom, start a meeting with just yourself, uh, turn on your camera and start recording the video. The benefit of that is that it does it locally, so the quality is pretty good. If you do a video interview with Zoom, the quality may degrade a little bit because there is some bandwidth and compression issues because it has to account for the bandwidth coming from the other side and all that stuff. It's technical, uh, but it will look better, I think, if you do local recording. And then finally, how do you promote your videos? You have a great video. It's the best asset you can have, better than blog posts, infographics, anything like that. You have a video. You want to get the most out of it. So the first thing you want to do is go to rev.com. It's an awesome service, super fast, pretty correct. Uh, most of the times you may have to fix some things, but don't worry about it in the first times. So go to rev.com and get uh, your video captioned. You just paste the URL so you can upload your video on uh, Vimeo, YouTube, Wistia, wherever you want to host it. Then you paste the URL on rev.com and you can order captions and transcript captions. It's like subtitles at the bottom of your video. And that's super useful for when you upload it on YouTube and LinkedIn because most people now consume video with their headphones they're, when they're commuting um, or even on silent without headphones, so they can't hear the sound. And uh, when they can't hear the sound, they have to rely on the subtitles. So what you do is you get the captions, you upload the video on LinkedIn, it has a little pencil icon, um, and they're changing their uh, format all the time, but the pencil icon lets you edit the video, and you can upload an SRT file, .SRT, that's the, uh, the extension of the file. And then on YouTube, you can upload your SRT file as well, and then you have captions. And uh, then with the transcript, you can post it on your blog. So you go to your website on your blog and you post a video and underneath you post a full transcript. You may have to edit it a little bit. And here a cool suggestion is to go on Yoast SEO because it gives you a suggestion on the keyword density. So if your keyword density is very low and naturally when you're speaking, your keyword density is probably gonna be lower than what's SEO optimized. So you may have to add some of the keywords here and there, just sprinkle it in, edit it lightly, and then post a transcript as your blog post. And that way you have a video on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and on your blog and a blog post. So that's getting tremendous value out of just one asset that took you very little time to produce. Now you can do all that by yourself internally, but you will probably need um, some expertise. So you may need to hire some people or you can work with our team at Board Studios where we do the same thing for hundreds of clients. We can help you find the right content, do the research for SEO, keyword and competitive analysis and suggest contents that you can cover. 
So we do the research, then we help you with the production. We can get on the call with you to interview you, and then we produce the video, we edit the video, and we promote the video. So we figure out all the strategy, your calendar, the posting, we drip it on your YouTube channel, and then all you have to do is really just give us the interview, which typically takes about one hour of your time every three months, and you can get the topics that we need to drip uh, to your YouTube channel for once a week. Those are gonna be videos two to three minutes long, dripped once a week. You have them also for your LinkedIn channel, for your blog post. So it's tremendous value with just one hour of your time every three months. And it's super cost effective and super efficient because we have the team that's doing it every day. We have figured out exactly the processes that we need. It's not something that we do for one client this week, another client the other week. We do it for a lot of clients all the time. So we're super streamlined, which also means that we save money for you and it's super cost effective and it's really a no brainer.